Hello everyone and welcome to The Split. I'm Dave, otherwise known as Split and 89 and we're about to get into a little bit of Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy. We're going to start a new game here, run through a couple of the levels, see what we got here. We are loading. Alright, opening cinematic. Oh, it looks so good. Moron! This bandicoot will be my general. He will lead my Cortex commandos to world domination. Yeah, because when everybody thinks of evil general, think of a bandicoot. We are closer than ever before. Quickly! Into the vortex. Apparently, he went only to Australia <laughs> the vortex is not for all of his creatures. No idea what it could do. Oh no, what can it do? Of course, as invincible as Crash seems sometimes, so he keeps coming back from all this stuff. I guess it worked. Again. Just didn't make him evil. <laughs> him. Run, Crash! Uh -oh. <laughs> oh no, not Coco. Where were all these lab rats beforehand? Evil, evil board mask thing. Waking up on the beach after a crazy night. All right, guys, so the controls are simple. X is your jump. And square is your spin. Triangle is inventory, just pulls down the top menu. Ooda booga to you too, sir. Here's an interesting fun piece right here. These boxes, they have Wampa Fruit in them too, and if you miss them, it will count against you at the end of the level. So, Crash. So an interesting thing actually when it comes to the Crash series is this is not a game to let just any kid play or whatnot. This is, it looks wonderful, and it is. It's an awesome game. But this is pretty much the Dark Souls of animated games. This game is tough. Um, part of it, like I'll show you right here, is if you jump, usually you'll just land in the same place, right? Well, something funny with the physics of this game given there weren't really physics engines really heavily duty back then, and it would take a while to show you exactly. But Crash, because of the physics engine, he drifts a little bit when he's just bouncing on something or jumping on something. So if you're right on the edge of something, and you're trying to time something perfectly, there's actually a decent chance that you are going to end up just slipping off and falling to your death. Oh, hey, look, we can actually jump on his tummy. I'm sure that will come useful at some other point, so. Keep your eyes out open when you're looking at turtles. I love the fact that you can launch them into other areas and knock open boxes for you. All right, we're going to go left this time. I'm always afraid that there's going to be like a hole where I can't see it. All right, so we are going to actually, I guess we'll take out Mr. Turtle here. That's part of what the mask does for you. He actually will take if you get hit. He's kind of your health, so to speak. If you get three of them without getting hurt, you'll actually do like the whole Mario superstar power up and be invincible for a little while. Let's go this way. Ooh, here's our first little challenge here. I want to get every box in this level. The fun here is if we jump, each box will get destroyed and we can fall into the pit. So let's see if we can do this the first time. It's simple, but you have to take this so super slow and I almost fell when we hit that life box. 
Woohoo, last one. Got the gym, and we are done with the level. Sweet. <laughs> he just pulled that out of his rear. <laughs> oh, crash. <laughs> now with the loading screens, I wish they would just have like some music going on in the background or something. Like, it's awesome that they've got the mask guy. I forget what his name is. If, uh, if anybody else can remember his name, put it below. Uh, also, if you would, because that makes me think, he makes me think of, like, the evil cousin of, if anybody remembers Ed, Ed, and Eddie, um, the board that Rolf had. I can't remember his name either. If you'll comment down below, let me know what that name is. I'm, I'm, it is just off the, I can't remember what it is. Um. Something else, kids, always look and make sure you are saved. This does have an autosave slot. Usually works, but always a good idea to check on a game this tough. But yeah, um, with the... I can't, I can't believe I can't remember that name. Let's jump into the Jungle Rollers level. Spinning TNT is deadly. Jump on it instead. Good to know. See, it's just so quiet right here. It would be great if we had like just some of that wonderful soundtrack that they've picked. I absolutely love the level design right with these they're just it's so colorful e even for then it was colorful now we don't spin at this because it would blow up immediately if we jump on it it has time to blow up the level designs are they're short but they're also just but they're beautiful and they're engaging apparently skunks are attracted to whatever direction I am going towards <laughs> there's one of our uh, jungle rollers and there's our first cocoa medallion ah almost fell but I'm invincible I can even run through those didn't know that oh that was cool Might as well use this while I got it, right? <laughs> okay. Well, that ended pretty much just in time, although I would have loved to have had that right here. Let's see if we can time this right. Ah! No, jump! Look at us being amazing. We got up to 10 lives now. Now, this is an awesome thing. Uh, the Coco Medallions, you get three. We get a bonus level. And this is a very easy bonus level compared to all the other ones. So there's only five boxes in here. Now, one thing that is really amazing is it's a good way to get some extra lives. But each Coco level, the last medallion is at the very, is very right next to it. So you pretty much is impossible to miss. Wow, she's tall compared to him. We've done the game. Yay, we're safe. Nope. Cortex has got her. It is not that easy because the game would have to end right there if it was that easy. Woo. Man, there are just lives galore here. And we're all Oh, they almost got me there. And see, we missed we missed three of those still. Finish the level. All right. See, in this here, that is just cruel. We should call PETA. Somebody's mistreating a marsupial. Ugh. There you are, Mr. Mask. And I mean, if you go through an entire level and you miss intentionally, like, every one of those... you miss like every one of those then he's going to get hit by like 30 boxes that's just stupid spinning a log platform lets you jump on it we will have to remember that for this level this is the great gate level oh this one's this one is awesome this one is more of a classic platformer style 
And see, when you're bouncing around here, there can be a lot of, uh, like, one thing I like and do not like, especially when you get to later levels, is that there are a bunch of wumpa fruit around here, and I love getting everything. I know that with Crash, I'm going to miss an occasional box, but... So what I don't understand is there's all these other things that can hurt Crash, but I'll jump from all the way up here. <laughs> it's funny how it goes flat, but that doesn't kill me. Or even cost me something. Yay! We are invincible, so let's just run through here. Now I gotta keep an eye on these turtles. Because I would hate to miss one of them and one of them be like a... No! Okay, we got it. There's one of those log platforms. I would hate for one of them to be the thing to help me get to something. See, and here's where all these fruit are. Thankfully, these are straightforward. But a lot of the later levels, they're like way off to the side, so you can easily miss them. So checkpoint. Okay, he's we're safe with him. Oh, I thought I jumped too soon there. Oh, see, this is where Mr. Turtle will come in handy. Otherwise, we would not have gotten that. See, I think it's awesome that you have the... Oh, you are not invincible from falling. <laughs> Still cost us a life. Now, these monkeys, you can't spin at them when they are in that rolling form. They will hurt you. Now, something interesting about Crash that you may or may not know is it was developed by Naughty Dog, which is the same guys who brought us Jack and Daxter after this. Uncharted after that and The Last of Us and they followed kind of the blueprint that some of the other studios did um, Or that maybe the other studios followed them, but like for instance the guys who do Sly Cooper Sucker Punch Got to jump above him to get him to do that so we can spin at him uh, They followed a similar plan to Sucker Punch in that Sucker Punch did Sly Cooper. They did Crash uh, Naughty Dog did Crash then Sucker Punch did Infamous, which would be very similar. I guess you could put it kind of in the same Jack and Daxter Uncharted area. And now Sucker Punch is doing Ghost of Tsushima, which is very similar in stylings of Last of Us. So they went kind of, you know, E-rated, then T-rated, and then M-rated. All right, this should be our last Coco Medallion, and it is. Let's get all this stiff. I'll run. See, in this, if we don't get that, we will not get all the boxes. This one, not as hard, but if we're not careful, we will fall into the hole. And two more lives. Sweet. And bye-bye, Coco. It's just intriguing that Naughty Dog, they went from kind of awesome to like E-rated all the way to M-rated. We've missed eight boxes. I don't even know where those eight could be. I'm sorry, Crash. That's a lot of boxes to hit you in the head. See, it just being dead quiet and him staring at you is just, it's kind of creepy. Ooh, boulders level children we always check our save this level is iconic this is the level most pe a lot of people think about when they think about crash bandicoot um, one cool thing it's such an iconic level that i'm not going to spoil where it is or how it's in there but that's this level actually appears in uncharted 4 and it actually appears twice So this is kind of, what's funny is to think about it, this is another time that Naughty Dog was influenced by Indiana Jones. So they were influenced by it here, and they were influenced by it with Uncharted. Oh, I almost missed a free life. Up to 18 lives, guys. 18, well, 19. Did not realize that was the 100th Wampa Fruit, which gets you kind of like Mario with the coins, gets you another life. See, this is just awesome level design. 
fixed if I keep missing all the fruit. So you gotta be careful. They try to trick you a little bit with that uh, that big log. You feel like you might come to a spot where the boulder isn't. See, just the difficulty that they keep bringing to you where it just gets harder progressively. And you're having to figure out like, what in the world do I do here? You're having to just guess and hope there's something in front of you just based on what you saw last. It's great level design. And it stresses me out and my thumb is constantly slipping on my thumbstick right there because of just how... <laughs> just how you have to just keep your finger going toward da on the downward slope and that is not easy. Let's keep wumping it up, guys. Let's keep going. Check our save to make sure it worked. Yep, we are good at auto saved. We are to the upstream level. Collect three face tokens to unlock a bonus round. Yeah, that's the, uh, the Coco medallions that you can get. Let's go down here. If you weren't watching, you might miss that. And this is one of those interesting levels. Uh, it's just, we've gone through multiple different designs here. If you stay too long on the lily pad, it'll fall into the water. There's another cocoa. And this, I hate this platform. It is so easy to miss that thing, especially in the later levels. And how is it even floating up when we're obviously the river's going downstream? And so you've got to time this right because if you are just if you just go run and pell mell, piranha will get you. And if not, and you have to stop, you may end up falling into the water because of the lily pad dropping out from underneath you. See, I had I took a very big chance there. All right, I almost forgot and spun at that. There's another cocoa medallion. Don't want to waste my mask. See, this just it spins you around to a point you have to just be dead on. That guy will not close on us. Got two of these. And that guy, if you don't time that right, you'll be got by the piranha or you'll be eaten. Wait for this. Sweet, we have got the cocoa level again. Let's see how we can do this. Ah! That kind of scared me there for a second because I was just bouncing a bit too fast. And now I gotta go all the way back. Uh -uh. I don't like any time I have to leave this to that. I got it, but I should have fell to my death. Ah! See, and we still missed three. I guess they were probably around where these like not finished um, there, there's definitely something we missed, obviously, but they must have been around where those uh, platforms that aren't there were supposed to be. <sighs> I'm sorry, Crash. Didn't mean for you to get hit by three boxes again. At least it wasn't the eight from that other level. All right, we are to the first boss. Pow poo pow poo. Body blows don't hurt him. All right, let's take on this big islander. All right, so that does not work. We just bounce off him. Ah, got hurt. 
obviously I'm sure we have to jump over that thing or else we, he will, we will get hurt. And this is pretty simple. This is super simple, super easy level design. But it's fun. All except for having to stare at his butt crack. All right, we just need one more, guys. Yeah, we got him. All right. But yet, I still was dumb enough to move in and get lose my mask. Fantastic. Da -da 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 -da. All right, guys, we did it. Took on the first boss, so to speak, of this game. Well, we are not going to jump right into Rolling Stones from here. We have finished the first boss. We will return to this some other time. But thank you guys for joining us on The Split. I'm Dave, otherwise known as Split End 89. Thanks for catching us here today, and we will talk to you later.